So oh. Mephiston, a little bit of extra cheeky lore here. So Mephiston is <laughs> currently believed to derive from the word Mephisto, or short for, funny enough, Mephistopheles, <laughs> which is obviously kind yeah, of Yeah, that's what up. I was thinking, yeah. because I was I I'm cats. tempted oh, to give well, Andy a half point. I don't know cats what you guys so think. so clever as magical, clever Mephistopheles. And I was like, cats! Answer. It's, it helps me. I can't believe that's related. Uh, it's but, related. Uh, it's up to you, <laughs> Colin, Eli. You have to decide if he has a half point for that. I'm not sure. Uh, 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 Maybe I almost not. don't want to give it to him because of the cats. <laughs> <'Cause of> the <laughs> <lead. laughs> okay, the cats unfortunately took away the half point. Huh? Guess what I'm clipping for the teaser anyways. to this episode. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not referencing. You get a picture of. Was it James Corden when he was in Cats? Uh, we're talking about the, the theatre production, none of that lazy Hollywood stuff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Law Crimes. Today we are doing a quiz and we are doing a quiz on a specific character from the Warhammer 40k universe and that is a fellow by the name of Mephiston. And today our quiz master will be Hal the Amber King. So without further ado, please Hal, would you like to take it away? Yes, I'm, I'm really excited about this one because uh, I've done a huge amount of research into this character for my own channel recently uh shameless mm. plugs when that comes out <laughs> and um yeah this i have read i think six books on this guy so you could say i am uh some short stories as well so say novellas okay. but um seven more than i've read <laughs> <laughs> you could say i'm uh armored up and uh you know let's get into some blood angels let's sons of sanguinius uh yeah so let's see how everyone, I, I like to say as before, they are our contestants, but I think the word victim should be in, inscribed in law. So starting off with my first victim, Andy, how's your knowledge on Mephiston, Lord of Death? Um, uh, not, not on, I, I have a few of the books, but I haven't listened to them yet. So uh, all I can say is I, like, I, 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 I know a bit about the Blood Angels, not much about Mephiston. All I can say is uh, blood me up, Dad. Let's go. Blood me up, Dad. I'll try mm. not to let that haunt my dreams. <laughs> uh, next on my list, uh, Eli, how are you feeling about the Lord of Death? Uh, well, maybe I'll be calling today. Uh, that, <laughs> that, that's it, though. I kid you not, the only, the only place he's ever had on my channel is in one of the Warhammer Gym memes, and it's Melifts in, and it's Melifts <laughs> with muscles. And that's all I know. That's, all, that's literally all I can tell you. It's over. This is this is not good. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be painful. Uh, last but certainly not least, the man whose pancreas does not work, uh, Colin. How do you feel about Mephiston? Well, let me tell you, Hal. I don't think I'm going to be winning. I think Eli's getting another dub in his trophy rack. <laughs> Should we just applaud him while while we can? Oh, well, well yeah, done, Eli. Like a, oh yeah, right. Bow down to the king, the emperor. I haven't I haven't read a single Blood Angels Horus Heresy book because they're so late into the series. So I'm pretty sure Andy. Well, Pretty sure Andy can pull this one out. Right. Well, we are not touching uh, basically any of the horrors heresy today. That, that's uh, my forte. But oh, we does are... he not even exist in the horrors heresy? No, he doesn't. <laughs> well, you don't even know that. <laughs> oh no! You're a couple millennia <laughs> way early. This is this He's is a young blood, blood oh, shall man. we say? This is a good this sign. Is... This is okay. a good sign. Um, <laughs> oh, I might yeah, actually that's... beat Eli. <laughs> that, that was that was shocking. Um, <laughs> just lore knowledge is so little. Lore crime oh, moment. That's that, a big, <laughs> that was a that was a almost boring on war crime. I can hear the black rage <laughs> in the comments. And people just going, <laughs> sorry, blood angels, bros. You're a cool chapter, but you're too late in the horse heresy for me to know anything about them. Your chapter Ooh. sucks. Ultramarines for life. Yeah. There's some fighting words. Some fighting words here. So enough with the banter. Well, maybe not, because it's going to get worse. <laughs> uh, is everyone ready to head into round uh, one, shall we say? The beginner section. And, I, yeah. I suppose so. <laughs> okay, so question number one. What is Mephiston's original name? Oh, I know this one. Yeah, okay. 
this is uh, I'm looking for the name of the character who Mephiston previously was before his, I should say, ascension into the Lord of Death. He mentions it in the Angels of Death uh, Warhammer TV show. Because he's in it very mm, briefly. Enough. Very that briefly. Might, that might help a few mm. people. He's in a flashback. Spelling will be generous on this one because uh, I am terrible with spelling. <laughs> so, so the kindness is invested, shall we say. <laughs> this is the easy question. I'm going to fail. Yeah, this I definitely want to. Hashtag I think I spelled my joke King. answer wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. Um oh no. Okay. Uh this is this is um this is definitely it's not quite poop knife levels of vibe, but we're we're on that road. <laughs> we're, well on the way. we're on the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. Question number two. Na so give me the name of Mephiston's iconic force sword. Oh. This is his uh, four swords for uh, librarians. They channel their psychic power into them. A lot of them are pretty generic, but this one has a iconic name. I actually think this is one of the dopest uh, names in all of the setting, to be honest. I'm proud of my answer. I think when he calls it, I'm pretty uh, happy with it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. Stabby, is it? What's it? What's oh it? no! <laughs> it's not right, but I'm proud of it. <laughs> oh! Oh wow! Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, this is uh, this is painful for everyone who's a you know fan <laughs> of Blood Angels. Uh, <laughs> hilarious, though. And to round off, shall we say, the beginner section, we have question number three. In which conflict was Mephiston born? But you also get an extra point if you could name me the location. Ah. Oh, <sighs> It's a little bit tricky, this one. A little bit tricky. End of a beginner section. But it's... Uh, so you might be aware of the... I'm looking for the name of the overall conflict. And sort of the bonus extra point is if you can name the location upon the world in which this happened. It's a bit of a clue. It's quite a big area. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. What was the question? Sorry? In where he was born or reborn? Mephiston is born. So oh, in where which Mephiston conflict, is born. In which conflict okay. was okay. Mephiston? Born. I was like, I don't remember the the book where there was like a daycare, and they're like, "This is <laughs> not Mephiston." He's like, "Goo goo gaga." I like blood. Like, no, like, no. It leads from uh, question one, where he was obviously Mephiston is not. Uh, he's born as an adult, shall we say? He's just definitely not a child. He crawls out fully formed from the womb. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this like a major conflict that we all know about? It's uh, once you hear it, you'll be like, "Oh, I've heard of it." I think um, as a clue, it was also a campaign series. I think as well, to my knowledge, this is one where n another slight clue: numerous other chapters were involved in very, very many in very, this very, 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 very many. Okay, oh, can I change my answer that. really quick? You can change your answer if you want. That's all good. All good. Okay. I have. Ooh. Ooh. I see. I see. I'm gonna be okay. Angry if I change from the right one. <laughs> uh, so. Last time. It's a, it's time for scores. Uh, scores on the doors for the beginner section. So, question number one was: What is Mephiston's original name? And as I start, I guess from the top of the list, I'll start with Andy. Hello. Andy put uh, Calisterius. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. very. That's a pretty, pretty strong answer. And Eli <laughs> put Vlad von Karstein. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also known as uh, Vladdy Daddy. As the, <laughs> the coolest vampire. Vladdy Daddy's the oh, official. Vladdy Daddy. Oh, I, we, want, I want him in AOS. He's, he's actually one of my favorite characters in there. Uh, Zoom in. I love vampire counts. They're so cool. Also, sticking with the vampire theme is it's appreciated, but um, unfortunately, it's not right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> lastly, we have Colin. Colin put <laughs> Glorbon the Toe Fungus Liquor. Unfortunately, that was wrong on more than one level. <laughs> Uh, I can expect real... that for a Death Guard legionary, but like, why the yeah. fuck angels are that <laughs> name? Oh. Imagine that yeah. having kind of... I needed, like, a, oh. 
I just need, being intimidating. Oh I god. Needed, I needed to set the tone for my answers to come. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, unfortunately, only Andy got a point there. It was in fact yeah. Calisterius, and yeah. for a cheeky bit of extra lore, he was actually born his when he was born, his name was Carly as a tribal mm. Barlight on Baal Primus. Calisterius, shall we say, is a name he took when he entered the Blood Angels so chapter. Focus. Yeah, I forget. Because I remember in the, the the Angels of Death series, there's a bit where Kazarian's like, ah, oh, I'm going to the Death Watch and I'm a bit scared. And he's like, ah, oh, submit to the Black Rage. Oh, but I don't want to. And he's like, well, Calisterius wasn't a baby. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, 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 that part with Mephiston is like, the perfect amount of like intimidation because remember where he just keeps flitting around the room seemingly yeah. without moving you're like how is he doing that he's a he's meant to be just as a, a bit of extra law supposedly even dante chapter master of the blood angels is supposed to be like afraid of him and he, mm. he can't help but be unnerved by him because it's like is an he aura like the only one one of the only few who survived the black rage so as in he's anyone who's Come through and co- quote unquote conquer insane, conquered yeah. the black rage. The only oh, the man to very insane. <laughs> there are others who right. suppose like battle with it to like a you know they hold it off to a certain degree, but mm. he's the only one who's like I it doesn't affect me anymore I or not affect me the same way. I actually kind of know the story behind that and only that oh. for the rest of this quiz. Well, there'll be more, <laughs> plenty more coming. So, mm. question number two was name. Me, Mephiston's iconic force sword. So back again to the top of the list, Andy. You gave me Vitaris, which I have to say now is correct because it's hey! my favorite. Oh, it's oh, one was of the Vitarius or Vitaris. So the the sure. spelling is slightly off. You got an extra T, but that's fine. Oh. Uh, it's still one of my favorite uh, weapons in Warhammer because it's every time Mephiston is just like. Just somebody's like Vitaris, and it's like just junk, like, like zooms across to his hand, and he just like yeah. lights it on fire. Kind, funny enough, you say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what Eli, with Eli's answer was Mjolnir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, in, so, it's in the spirit of things. I think someone's I didn't been, even know that. <laughs> someone's been, uh, I guess, was watching maybe too much God of War recently. The ones no. that just always time stamps it when this came out. But uh, unfortunately, it was not Mjolnir. And last, but certainly yes. not least, <laughs> Colin. <laughs> Colin, would you like to read out your answer? Of course. Uh, uh, I'd be happy to. Now, these are two separate words. Uh, force skin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Use the force skin. Yeah, perfect. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, you did not just do that. I oh, did, and it's Colin. Colin. <laughs> I actually generally felt a little bit ill. A little bit ill when you said that. Oh my god! Uh, unfortunately, that was not Vitaris. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for. And so, therefore, Andy gets another point, and the other oh, yeah. two are n- still nil. So we can move on to this. how is this happening? We can infer from this answer: Mephiston is circumcised. <laughs> canon. It's canon, people. And the last question in the beginner section. In which conflict was Mephiston born? An extra point if you can name me the location. And again, starting from the top, Andy, you put the second war for Armageddon, and there's no extra part for location. I'm confident with this answer, to be honest. That's okay. That's okay. And it was a pretty, to be fair, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good guess. But I won't spoil just yet because I'd like to move on to Eli. Eli put The Devastation of Baal, which is one of my favorite books in Warhammer. But uh, I'm sure not... it was there, but it was the only thing I could think of. He that We will be discussing some of The Devastation of Baal uh, later, so I don't want to have any spoilers just yet for that. And Colin put The Twelfth Black Crusade... And then the second part was on Ball. I do want it known. Uh, I meant Ball Primus because I forgot the moon was Ball Secundus. I forgot we there was another Ball. ball. Well, that's okay because you got it completely wrong. <laughs> so, <Well. laughs> so, unfortunately, just the... let it be known that Colin can't handle his balls. Nope. Uh... Uh, 
So the answer I was looking for was the second war for Armageddon, and oh, really, oh, okay. yes. So I wasn't Andy sure. gets one point for that. Yay. The location I was looking for is called Hades Hive. So it was a oh okay uh, where uh, Yarrick is fighting. Well, is is the way to describe it in the books is he's actually Mephiston is not. Um, it is literally described as a birth because it had a death of who he previously was being Calisterius. It's literally, I don't know how other, I, sorry, I'm, I'm flooding my words here, but I don't remember the exact wording they used, but it was described as like a birth of this new being. Mm. So that's why I use those. Like, he put down his psychic hood and got a really cool flared collar and he was reborn. Because you look at his like original miniature and he's got like the librarian hood and the blue armor. And then he's like, blue is cringe and then he like gets the whole like look at my six pack torso armor and you're like where did you get that like the space marine hot topic where is that from you know well, like, actually funny enough extra bit of lore here when he turns into mephiston sorry he's birthed into me and i keep i keep thinking of when he said earlier he's birthed as an adult from what colin said earlier and i can't get that out of my head uh, <laughs> when he was actually when he became mephiston he was part of the death company so mm. at the time of when he was buried under hades hive and he was under there for seven days and he conquered the black rage he was actually donned in the black of the uh, death company obviously the red uh, stripes i think if i remember correctly it's to uh show resemblance to the wounds sanguinius took from horus if i think might be a law crime there if uh someone wants to correct me so when he was became a fist, essentially he was in, you know, awful, you know, midnight black armor. Just a little bit of an extra there. So we are at the end of the beginner section. The scores on the doors currently are Andy's in the lead with three points. Yay. Big up, big up. Ooh. And in joint last place is <laughs> Lion Collins. Let's go. That's a win oh to my. me, buddy. We Get haven't point. had a quiz yet where no one's got points. This would be interesting if it would be the Maybe first the one. First one. <laughs> there'll, there'll, be a, there'll be one or two here. I'm, I'm, I'm confident. Uh, okay. Just, uh, okay. Quick, I'm going to quickly answer you guys just to see how you're feeling currently. Uh, I'll start with you, Andy. What's your current thoughts? You think you'll be... Um, you can't, you're feeling confident? I, I'm currently sprouting wings as we speak for Sanguinius. For, uh, we appreciate it we appreciate it uh eli i am drinking a glass of red wine so that also helps with the blood angels theme he's uh he's in the mood he's in the mood shall we say eli how uh, are you particularly feeling so far <laughs> uh i like i like gabriel seth he's he's cool he yeah. he is pretty cool to be fair <laughs> that's about it that's all i have to contribute <laughs> he's got a big chain sword <laughs> eli, probably... eli's panicking <laughs> I think yeah. I can. <laughs> and uh, Colin, how do you feel so far? How's your confidence? I feel like I'm ready to get revenge with an Age of Sigmar quiz, so none of you will get nice. any points. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, please don't. Uh, no, 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 it probably will happen. <laughs> so now we've ended the beginner section. It's time to move on, and we will start with the intermediate. So we start with question number four. This one's a little bit, little bit, uh, let's just say, if you don't know Mephiston, you might be able to get some of these ones. So question number four, the name Mephiston may have been inspired by which country's folklore? Oh. Yes. Yeah, a bit oh. of a, okay. Ooh. The name Mephiston may have been inspired by which country's folklore? And I, I specify here, not mythology folklore folklore mythology is a bit too ancient shall we say i'm looking for something a bit more i'll, I'll give a bit of a hint here it's after a thousand a.d at least <laughs> so we're not super oh uh, ah right, right. so yeah a little bit little bit of a hint. Ah. Hey, <laughs> think of the cats musical no uh, what, like, what would i, I think it was why did you think James, James Corden, you unreasonable man? <laughs> Do you think he's powerful enough to stop time? Mephiston? Yeah. He actually does at one point. It's a nice. hilarious scene. He's inside a Thunderhawk, and he stops time for a bit. 
and he sees so he sees a um so you're telling oh, me he's a blonde vampire with time <laughs> you're telling me wait a minute pretty, pretty much he's he's like <laughs> it, there's some twilight should we say involved in it as well i'll oh, just to specify on this question i'm looking for the name of the country in which the folklore is the inspiration behind Mephisto. Just put my answer in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I know. No, you can change it. You have time. You can change it. Uh, if you wish. I can't now because I can't. I don't know what the country is. <laughs> that's <laughs> so, all you get. That's all you get. That's all. Fair enough. Fair enough. I have all my answers in. Uh, uh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, moving on to question number five. In the devastation of Baal, Mephisto fights which demon prince? An extra point for naming me the faction slash god he belongs to. So I'm looking for the name of the demon prince that Mephisto battles in the realm of the warp. This one is, uh, I recently had a piece of, we'll have, actually, later on we may see some artwork that is involved in this, but it doesn't give away the name, luckily. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm looking for the name of the specific demon prince. And I will say now, your demon prince knowledge is needed later on in this quiz. <laughs> so, oh man! So I so there may be some there may be some like shots in the dark. But, is it specifically uh, a demon prince? Not not any not a. Yeah. I've had no I, shots in the dark. <laughs> specifically a demon prince, and uh, yes, this one this, this was quite a famous part of Mephiston's journey in the devastation it's actually the entire plot the thing of is, him blood angels do a lot of dealings with fighting demons so i'm like i can think of seven different names but i don't know where they fit in with also the blood angels the... are always fighting demons also the name of the faction as well i'm looking for the name of the faction they belong oh. to oh. Oh. which which oh. which which, uh, <laughs> god which god does a demon okay, belong okay. To as well? there's oh, an extra okay. point about that part right at least maybe a little bit of a little bit of a lifeline that so, you know, everyone I think might be able to get that one at least. <laughs> uh, do we have all of our. Uh, I can't think of the faction, so just that's all I can offer. <laughs> fair, fair enough. That's all I, I think, can do. I think we have uh, everyone's answers in, so that's, it's locked down. So, mm. for question number six, this one's a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> After Mephiston's transformation into a Primaris Marine, he battled a chaos plot. Surrounding the infamous city of light. Sorry, the name of the place is called the City of Light. Just make sure that's a big hint there. Name me the the true name of the City of Light. Now this is a link, a slight bit of a clue here. If you read some Horus Heresy, this is also referenced in there, the name of the City of Light. You may be also able to guess what are famous cities within the Warhammer universe. That uh, shall we say, Mephiston, Lord of Death, has done battle in. If anyone needs any clues, don't be afraid to ask. By the way, this is a. Uh, once you hear it, by the way, again, you might be like, "Ah, oh, I have heard this somewhere." I can guarantee I'm going to because it's. If I'm right, it's on the tip of my. Interesting, 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 interesting. I have Colin's answer here. I think. Uh, City of Light. <laughs> Everyone is struggling on this one. It's difficult when it's a specific character, but this one is a little bit more. This this uh, city is. Uh, let's say there are some big events that happen inside of it during the Horrors Heresy as well. That's a big hint to everyone. Could you repeat the question, please? I'm just of racking course, my brain. After Mephiston's transformation into a Primaris Marine, he battles a chaos plot. Surrounding the infamous City of Light. Name me the true name of the City of Light. You're going to kick yourself once you hear this as well. You're I am. You're going to kick I, yourself. I really am. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, uh, Someone is, uh, I say, some of the answers are pretty interesting so far, though. So um, pretty, pretty interesting. Ah, uh, Trying to pack uh, too much, though. <laughs> I'm not panicking, I'm just drawing a blank. That's okay. Uh, 
This isn't necessarily a specific Blood Angels question, this one. So trying to maybe think out right. Right. And I'm thinking my brain, the only thing my brain is thinking is like Path of Heaven. And I'm like, no, that's a White Scars thing. And it's a similarly similarly named, but it has nothing to do with it. Uh, I can't think. I can't think of anything. He's uh, got to make a, a choice. Let's do a funny. Um, let's do it. Let's do a funny. Seti of light. What would we call? Poop knife let's will not be accepted. <laughs> There you go. You can do it if everyone's upset there you go. about that one. Very. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Okay. I guess a lot. Um. F- <laughs> that's really funny. Um. So that should be the end of the intermediate. But surprise round. <gasps> this. This is a yeah. Well, bit of a surprise here. We're gonna have a picture round. <gasps> so very nice. Uh, bit of a picture round. So if you all look to the general uh, chat on the side here there will be three pictures that i will be showing you very quickly here so i'm just going to upload them here we go so we have picture number one uh, for audio listens here okay. i will describe it this is mephiston fighting amongst necrons it's a pretty his like vitaris is ignited again vitaris yeah, I'll put it on the edit to show on the the edit what everyone can at. have a look at who's also mm-hmm. uh, watching too this is picture b this is mephiston uh, fighting against the thousand suns uh some people might consider that their favorite legion not sure uh, why no. <laughs> <laughs> i'm fighting i'm just gonna fight i'm fighting words now and picture number three Ooh. So this is Mephiston inside the realm of the war, which or shall we say? The king, I believe. Yes, this is actually a piece of art Ooh. I had custom made. Uh, Very nice. People get to see this. So what I'd like, they are all labelled A, B, and C. Yes. I'd like you to put these in order of which happened first. <sighs> so order of the timeline. <laughs> so you can put any combo so a b c c b a b c a so that i'm not don't don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so again for uh all the audio listeners we have uh number a which is mephiston fighting against necrons with vitaris ignited b uh is him fighting against thousand suns and c is him inside the warp fighting against corn's demons Ooh. I love the thousand This is a this is a bit of a surprise <laughs> round here. <laughs> Hope everyone enjoys a little bit of a cheeky pitch around here. I uh, didn't know the answer, so I just spelt a word. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh, yeah. with the bit, what have you done? I'm going to put that on the um on the, the edit. It's, it's Maleficent. Buff Mephiston. <laughs> <laughs> That's this is not Buff Mephiston. Oh god. <laughs> I hate. I normally say the word. Does everyone make like more of those videos? Does it, I, have actually, <laughs> I have to actually do the question. I kind of. Does everyone uh, just eats raw protein powder? <laughs> <laughs> Does everyone know? Um, I don't want to say the word in case demonetized, but something gutters from Rick and Morty. If you know what I mean. Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. When someone's that rich. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. It begins with a letter C and ends with a letter M. I got M. more primarks. Okay, okay. So we have all our answers in. So back up to the top of the table. So this is the intermediate section and starting off with question four. So it'll be the scores on the door. So number four was the name of Mephiston may have been inspired by which country's folklore? So starting with Andy, Andy put Mephistopheles. Uh, is not in fact a country unfortunately no, I um i misheard the question <laughs> that's okay he's committed though uh, <laughs> the commitment was misplaced and that is unfortunately not correct uh, mephistopheles is not canon it's... and next we have eli eli has put romania uh it's a guess. it's a it's a strong guess though it's a pretty strong guess and last but certainly not least Kind of in the same vein, uh, Colin has put Transylvania. Ooh. A lot of myths. I, I'm guessing you were thinking a lot of the vampire. Correct. Uh, <laughs> pretty much. I am a blood much. angel. Ah, ah, uh, ah, ah. Uh, no, that's Borat. <laughs> that's definitely not the right one. The correct answer I was looking for 
was Germany. So oh. Mephiston, a little bit of extra cheeky law here. So Mephiston is <laughs> currently believed to derive from the word Mephisto, or short for, funny enough, Mephistopheles, <laughs> which is obviously kind yeah, of... Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. because I was I I'm tempted to give well, Andy a half point. I don't know what you guys so think. clever as magical, clever Mephistopheles. And I was like, cats! Answer. It's, it helps me. I can't believe that's related. Uh, it's but, related. Uh, it's up to you, <laughs> Colin, Eli. You have yeah. to decide if he has a half point for that. I'm not sure. Uh, 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 Maybe I almost not. don't want to give it to him because of the cats. <laughs> <Isn't it>? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the cats unfortunately took away the half point. Huh? Guess what I'm clipping for the teaser anyways. to this episode. Oh, <laughs> no, man. referencing. You get a picture of. Was it James Corden when he was in Cats? Uh, we're talking about the, the theatre production, none of that lazy Hollywood stuff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, yes, so it's about by German folklore, supposedly coming around in the 16th century. So that was Germany for that one. Uh, question number five. In the devastation of Baal, Mephiston fights which demon prince? An extra point if you can name me the faction slash god that he belonged to. Starting again with Andy, Andy put Mkar or Mkar. I, I don't think it's correct. That's the only one I could draw from my brain. I always think of I, well, I don't know where it's from again. It's the one like mm, okay. I, I always think it's <laughs> Mkar. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think it's from. <laughs> mm. Okay, <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah. So not a bad. He didn't put a faction for that one. No. Uh, Black Rage thought, is pretty bad for you. Okay. Mm, okay. So. That's okay, gonna clear your head if you're gonna go kill the enemies of the emperor. Okay. <laughs> unfortunately, right Mkar was not what I was looking I, for. I don't think it was. No. Uh, Eli next. Eli put Cub. <laughs> it's He's really funny. not a demon prince. I know. He put no. You did put Cabanda. Cabanda. Uh, Cab I was looking for Cabanda, and you also put Corn as the faction. Mm. That's a uh, pretty strong there and. Last but certainly not least, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Colin put Jotaro Kujo. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. And then he also put corn. Well, as we what? all know, corn demons can't beat the shit out of you without getting closer. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately that's not what we're looking for. Um, uh. The correct answer we're looking for was Kabanda. Uh, oh, he is actually considered he's a, crazy he's called a he's considered uh, a bloodthirster, but slash demon prince as well. Uh, he also, I know he had the fights with Sanguinis, but I was like, no, yeah. surely he's he's too obvious. No balls. Uh, no, not on Eli. Eli got that. He put a uh, Kabunda, and um, everyone knows their London <laughs> London <laughs> Kabussy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. uh, okay. If, if everyone knows their London yeah. slang, uh, bunda means something very different um, <laughs> where we are. I don't want to go into that. Uh, Colin also got a point for <laughs> Colin got a point for uh, corn. So that's a pretty. Uh, we're on the we're on the uh, score scores on the doors. You know we're on the leaderboard at least. One, so. one. nice. They get two one points. Point. Oh, yeah. it, it, like, one point. They got two points point. for that. Oh. And for question number six. After Mephiston's transformation into a Primaris Marine, he battled a chaos plot surrounding the infamous City of Light. Name me the City of Light. Now, Andy, you put. <laughs> do you want to? Can you? Can you want to read it out and explain? <laughs> oh, that one? Well, all I will say is I was thinking. I can't think of a City of Light. I can think of the Webway. I can think of the Coral City, and I was drawing a blight. So I just went. Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if anyone's um, is, what? Birmingham, UK. Um, I I'd, I'd, I want to be nice about this, but I I think the City of Light is perhaps the furthest thing you would describe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peaky Blinders, you know the deal. I know. Yeah, I, I love Peaky Blinders. I've seen one thing referencing Birmingham in my life, and it was this video of a man screaming how Birmingham <laughs> sucks to live in. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what the what's the what would be the US equivalent Detroit. of Birmingham. May, uh, maybe I don't, to think about I don't know. It. No, it's not, actually not, not that bad. Detroit. Not It'd that be bad. Like, yeah, right, Cleveland. It'd be like a, um, maybe Cleveland. Maybe yeah. Uh, not quite Ohio. It's too rural. But you just, you just want to go to Birmingham to understand. 
Oh my god. Uh, please fill the comment section with the Cleveland Town song, everyone. <laughs> it's the best video on YouTube. Uh, Isn't there a Warhammer 40k thing where Birmingham is a planet and it's like a real shitty place probably. to be? No. I'm pretty sure shitty. it is. Hold on, let me just there's do like, it. There's, there's one regiment who seems very British and I think they it's live on a whole Birmingham, awful, horrible planet. 40k. I think I it's just another name for it's... Necromunda. Yes, yes. Uh, Birmingham, also known as the Black Planet, is an imperial feral world in the segment of Tempentus. The population is a major source of new recruits for the Aston oh I knew it. Birmingham oh, is also awesome. the chapter homeworld of the Harbinger Space Marine that's chapter. Awesome. There you go. Yeah. That is... That's, that's right, Joe. That's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> 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 Birmingham, <laughs> Birmingham was not correct. <laughs> um, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Uh, Eli put Nostramo, LMAO. Um, not sure anyone laughed, has ever laughed in <laughs> Nostramo. These days. A little bit crispy, uh, sad for Night Lords uh, and their Night Lord players. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, Nostramo <laughs> is not correct. It's not the City of Light. In fact, it probably is the even opposite. more the opposite of City of Light. The Light uh, of Justice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, Batman is nowhere. Or, or, <laughs> <laughs> he'd probably get crunked by Conrad immediately. Um, yes. yeah. And lastly, Colin put Tizka, which is correct. Oh, I was actually oh, thinking of that. Was okay. place. Has yeah, pro- Tizka okay. is the city of light. If someone has read oh, some of their Thousand Suns Horus Heresy, it's mm. cheekily referred to it in that, that way sense. too yeah it's not said i would be kicking myself uh, well they they transport it into the the planet sorcerers don't they they like they go what? and they scoop it up away they, they know, the ferry away mephiston yeah. actually i got that right the last mephiston book he actually goes to the city of light and uh oh. actually, there's a little bit of spoiler uh, for the later <laughs> Pretty much. What's the um? What's the body pillow person you referenced with like the other episode? Hatsune. Hatsune Miku. Uh, uh, this is actually her realm. <laughs> so, getting all the vocaloid lore for everyone. Who oh is God! A, who is it? A degenerate. Uh, please call it. Please. Degenerate. All of you. Degenerate. <laughs> so, He's all of us. Like it's not just me flooding it. <laughs> We need some more ripped. We need like to to go alongside the ripped uh, Mephiston and Sanguinius photos. We need a ripped picture of uh, Hatsune Miku just <laughs> next to that. As well. it just fits in. You don't want to. You don't tell me <laughs> that I can provide. <laughs> yeah, what you wish for. Uh, the next question, which, if I remember correctly, was question number seven. This was the cheeky little pitch around, just mm. so a little bit of a quick uh, rundown for people who are listening. Uh, this was. For three pitches, A, B, and C, I was looking for the correct order in which they w- occurred in Mephiston's timeline. So picture A was him fighting Necrons, picture B was him against Thousand Sons, and C was him fighting in the realm of Corn. Now, let's start with Andy once again. Oh, I've lost everyone here. Direct messages. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so Andy, you put the order as C, A, B spelling cab. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you say that was your only reason for <laughs> putting yeah, it. I was thinking, I want to catch a ride to Point Town, get in a cab. Uh, and it's... he, Mephiston, does not take cabs. He has wings. Oh, of course, he doesn't. He's too edgy for that. His he collar has... wouldn't fit in the door. To be honest, <laughs> it hits it on like the, <laughs> the top of it. That image is so funny. Uh, Eli, you put also cab, C A B. Not, not too bad, not too bad. And Colin put uh, CBA, also can't be asked. As a... I was very tempted for that, but I saw what Colin put in the chat. <laughs> so I didn't the, want to copy it. To be fair, the, copying me is a great way to not be right in this class. The correct order I was looking for was cab. So C oh, A B. Oh, yeah. I'm so, the round. Amazing. Andy, you get a point there. Eli, Thank you. so he gets a point so there. It's not cock and ball a torture. 
<laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> it is just not for me. <laughs> it is in fact <laughs> his timeline is all just cock and ball torture. <laughs> that is. I mean, look at look at his the design of his armor. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, just a brief little uh, explanation there. So. C happened in the devastation of Baal, so this is uh, in a pretty chung. I, I say chungus move, not a chungus move. Chad move. <laughs> chungus move. <laughs> chungus move. <laughs> Have you ever met a big chungus oh, of the Blood Marines? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a reference oh. vine, my dude. Oh god. Um, so this happens in the devastation of Baal. Uh, a is on the book The Revenant Crusade against the Necrons, and B is in the book the city of light so mm. <laughs> obviously in relating to our earlier questions there so currently that's the end of our intermediate section the scores Ooh. on the door are andy has four yay heard. eli has three Ooh. Wow. and colin has two so actually Ooh, yeah. there's not that much Coming in back. it there's really not that, only two points uh in it so it could all go Let's just say may, may, maybe someone will do well in this section, but I seriously doubt it because this is going to get very tough. Anyway, don't I have four and a half? Uh, we decided not to do the half point because of the cat's reference. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we were too upset by that. We asked God. <sighs> Honestly. So does, everyone, is... does everyone want to, uh, Eli and Colin, you have to let me know. Does he deserve the half point? What do you think? I don't know, man. Eli, know. Eli's not into it. That's if you one. don't give me the half point, I'm gonna spam cats like I lyrics. Think, I think, uh, I'm, I think whole I'm not the time. <laughs> I don't yeah, think true. I delegate true to you. I, <laughs> Mephistopheles is pretty good reference, but the reference was not law. It wasn't the he, film version. It was the Broadway. Well, it was the yeah, West End yeah. musical. It's the version. fact that the reference is cats, and yeah. I'm, it I'm is the good. worst musical. To be fair. I'm vehemently against that, I'm afraid. So I don't, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to give the half point. Again, Mep yeah. Mephistopheles is not a country. Cats fans in the comment section, vent to yourself. Cats fans don't watch Warhammer Law. <laughs> <laughs> they might. <laughs> we have Space Wolves fans. Uh, don't be mean to Space Wolves. Yeah, the Ven I'm not being mean, I'm just saying they like animals too. The Venn uh, diagram yeah. between Cats and Warhammer fans is just a circle. <laughs> Celestial <laughs> Lions fans in the comments, voice your displeasure. Uh. So, moving on, <laughs> moving on to the last part of the quiz, we have the expert section. Uh, I'm not going to ask how everyone's doing, because I think we're all doing terribly. <laughs> we're all feeling, feeling the heat, I'm all right. feeling the blood yeah, angels, and he's nice nice comfortable. But I think, yeah. um, I think we're going to head straight in there and just suffer. So, question number eight. How many demon princes has Mephiston fought, plus name me as many as you can. Question number eight. How many demon princes has Mephiston fought? So I'm looking for the number. Also, name me as many as you can. Now, if someone's looking for clues, I will say it's not a huge number, as obviously considering demon princes, sorry, demon princes are not like they're not thrown about every story, but uh, Mephiston has fought quite a few ever since even just becoming Mephiston, and uh, there's quite a few. I uh, some might have mentioned some earlier. I hope uh, everyone's not panicking at this one. Oh, I have a <laughs> okay. What people are not going to be happy with me when I explain my answer. <laughs> uh, I might oh, ask God. people to. <laughs> God damn it. Oh god. Uh, uh, sure, I'm also looking for the number as well. So the number's the first part of the answer. You add them together, that's how many I think. Uh, <laughs> just give them the give, names. Give me the no Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I assume. I ass I'll assume. Uh, yeah. Oh no, oh, no, I won't. I just know. I will ask for the number because you can get a point for the number as oh, well. Okay, okay, okay. Get a point for the number. Oh, I'm surprised you were. Uh, someone's written one which I wasn't sure. They'd, uh, they'd get. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, I have my answers in. So move on to question number nine. Beneath Baal. Number nine? Number, we said number eight. 
Well, that was number seven, wasn't it? That was the beginning no, of the was, round. There was the bonus one. Seven, the seven, seven was That's the, a bonus. That doesn't count as a question. Seven was the seven. Bonus. Number seven was the picture round. So this is <sighs> eight, nine, and ten. So <laughs> he's not happy. The bonus number, question can come early. There's nothing in the contract that says it has to. Come there's, the there's also a bonus yeah. question as well. So oh, well <laughs> uh, I've got bonus. I've just marked as bonus. Okay. All right. Whatever. Sorry. Keep going. Right. So number nine. Beneath Baal, in its mightiest prison, is an immortal Xenos that Mephiston has on occasion interrogated for answers surrounding chaos. Name me this Xenos. Now this a is Xenos. a... This is a... Uh, the name from the of Mep the Xenos or the type? It only has... It, it only has a name. It's a one-of-a-kind. This is a very difficult question oh. that... I'll give a slight hint. It appears in the Devastation of Baal books and also in the Mephiston books. And this is a ancient Xenos that is immortal. They can't kill it. And it's locked away in the deepest dungeons of Baal. And they, they, they have to interrogate it sometimes. It's a very manipulative and creepy thing. It's a, there's a, the really cool scene where, uh, in Devastation of Baal, where he does interrogate it. And I hope if anyone, uh, reads that book and they come across that they'll be like Ooh, oh that was a pretty good one my it's a pretty complicated name so <laughs> just so eli's answer <laughs> is, this, is, this, is this how you felt during the fantasy quiz andy <laughs> Honestly, well, really i, I mean this one i haven't i haven't listened to the book yet but i've i've watched a video and i'm pretty sure i know the answer to mm. this this is a uh, this is these are some answers, shall we say? They are some answers. We in fact have answers. Um, moving Not on to the ones we wanted. <laughs> moving on to question number ten: Battling against the thousand suns upon the world of Sabasis, Mephiston split his soul in three parts. One piece appeared inside the warp. Describe me, to the best of your ability, the appearance of Mephiston's soul in the warp this will be a little bit of a i'm going to choose whoever's the closest on this one because it's pretty tough but i'll read it out for you once again battling against the thousand suns upon the world of sabasis mephiston split his soul into three parts one piece appeared inside the warp describe to me the appearance of mephiston's soul in the warp this is kind of a really cool part of the City of Light book. It um, it, it's a very interesting bit because it shows what someone's true nature is supposedly when they enter the warp in this way, and it's a little bit, I guess, it's a kind of a little clue as to what Mephiston is truly like on the inside. You know, the Lord of Death. So I wanted to let people be a bit uh, creative. This one, <laughs> okay, and. Uh, yeah, whoever's got the closest answer. So one person is going to win. I will let the whoever's the closest, I think. Uh, As generous. <laughs> I know, because everyone could be way off. But um... <laughs> Anyone want to let me copy their homework? <laughs> was it, was it, everyone can say what they're thinking. Is it? I'll give a slight clue. It's not necessarily... Co it's... Uh, there's something physical. It's not like a... Just you know how like souls are typically depicted as like oh it's just a glowing orb. It's not that. This is much more of a physical mm. representation. So mm. that hopefully helps. Okay. This is it's a really I will give a description of it and it was like a oh really that's like a blood angel. Okay, you know, you know what I mean it's a bit bit sus, shall we say? Bit sussy backer. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay. I'm thinking. I still have that in my head. The. Uh, Who's the guy who plays Hank Schrader? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you kind of guy who watches JoJo. Oh my god! Well, you're either, okay, you're either a sussy baka or a bussy sucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The fifth one is probably both. And for this is the bonus question, so surprise <laughs> question at the end. This is I know Andy for like oh bonuses, they shouldn't be here. Uh, no, 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 it's just, it's just mark them as bonuses, not question numbers. God. I thought that I wanted to do a picture round because we never done a picture round, so I wanted to be a bit, a bit different, cool. shall we say? Uh, so this is question number eleven, the last one. 
this one's a bit more I think someone might get this if they're not uh this is a bit more Blood Angels friendly. Okay. In the Blood Angels Civil War, name me the artifact of Sanguinius that was stabbed into Mephiston to help control his power. Now the clue here is this is an artifact of Sanguinius from the time of the Horus Heresy. So you might have heard of it. Again, this is, I guess, expert section, so it's quite tough. I'm going to give a half point if you can name me the type of weapon it is as well. well I think that'll be a bit <laughs> easier <laughs> if everyone... Because uh, otherwise, I think it might be super impossible. But if someone has, again, probably not Eli, read your Blood Angels Horus Heresy, you might have <laughs> Or if you've read your uh, any of the Mephiston or Blood Angels books, it does come up uh, sometimes, shall we say. So this is question number 11. Or for Andy, I think on your thing, number 10 here. Uh, I, I have no idea anymore. Is, you panic is, is it panicking? I'm, I'm, I'm jotting down time stamps <laughs> in my notebook, and I'm like, I have no idea anymore. But it, it is a weapon. It's there. That's the clue. It's, it's a weapon. It's a weapon. Okay, sorry. What, what was the question? I wasn't listening. I was trying to just sort soak out the in. Timestamps. <laughs> in the Blood Angel Civil War, name me the artifact of Sanguinius that was stabbed into Mephiston to help control his power. Oh, it's an okay. artifact from the Blood Angels and Sanguinius in the time of the Horus Heresy. So you might you you might have come across it. You might be again like like ah, oh, I knew that in the back of my head, but. You know, up to you. If if if, if you think uh, again, as I said before, half point if you can name me the type of weapon it was to. Uh, I've seen <laughs> Colin. If you want to put a type of weapon as well on your one, just in case, you know, you might get a Fair half enough. point. I might shot just, him just, in the dark. Just might as well shot in the dark for that one. You know, entirely a guess. It's if you you know, much. pretty much there. Uh, Andy, are you? Are you I think Andy might be struggling on this one. Jesus. Is it is it somewhere um, in the back of your mind? Do you think a little bit there? Uh, you just lost. You lost entirely. Well, I I know some cool stuff, but a lot of it is like drinking utensils. So, <sighs> <laughs> like they have that, a lot of grails. Is all I'm saying. It's not <laughs> as much as a grail could be a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I would say it's not a grail at least. Uh you have, to, you have to commit you have to commit, you've got to go for it. Oh okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna go for something a bit kind of crazy. But I have a I have a justification for it, shall we say. Uh that's alright, that's all good, all good. People who are Blood Angels fans, they might know this one too if you're listening. Uh, also, if you are listening along, let us know how you're doing so far in the uh, comments and in the chat. We obviously, we hope you're suffering as much as the, my victims. <laughs> my victims are. This is like a bit of a. Unless you read his books, he seems quite niche, but he's done a lot of really cool stuff. Done a lot of stuff. He, he's got a career, that man. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing his nine to five. Let me tell you. Okay, and oh, I'd love to see a nine to five music video with just Mephiston and Blood Angels, with him just going, "Working nine to five, <laughs> shooting lightning from my fingers." You know, just having Mephiston doing a silly goof. Anyway, carry on, that, please. He does not smile unless in that video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's time for scores on the doors. Oof. So, it's question number eight: was how many demon princes has Mephiston <laughs> fought? <laughs> name me as many as you can so starting off with andy andy put uh two for his number of demon princes and you also named zad kl and kabanda now that unfortunately is not the correct number but mm, you do get really. you do get two points Yay. for the correct that. names so you get because Eli like said Kabanda I was like I'm having that <laughs> but, uh, everyone everyone hope you should have that one at least mm. yeah. <laughs> moving on to uh, Eli Eli put four <gasps> what unfortunately that is still not the correct answer <sighs> I'm looking for Eli put Kabanda 
Nakari, Shela- Shalaxi, Zinch one probably. Which to us there might be a demon prince named Zinch one probably. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. And Scarbrand. Uh you only get one point for that <sighs> one. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot Zarachneal was a thing. Holy moly. Zarak extended. Galaxy is a keeper yeah. of secrets, Eli. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just throwing names up there. Oh, <laughs> I, th- I thought. I thought He's just like, I want to show off all the greatest demons. I don't, I don't know why. Gina. I just, I just thought you meant like Zeech one probably. Like I mentioned that in parentheses after Shalaxi. <laughs> so no. Colin, Colin put his number as three. That's three is still not the correct answer. Oh, uh, this guy. We're only like nineteen or something stupid. No, <laughs> Colin. Uh, also, you put Kabanda. Pipkin yeah. Pippa <laughs> <laughs> and Gorgur 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 I'm going to be honest I uh I got Kabanda I knew that one was right yeah, I, I knew that one was right I knew that one I knew that one was right I knew nothing else so I just started naming VTubers it's made lots of like <laughs> guttural noises when you haven't had your insulin for a while it's like look <laughs> oh, <look, laughs> <laughs> That's just a bit too relatable. Yes. Right? <laughs> so for so for the even smaller Venn diagram of Warhammer fans and VTuber fans, there, there's a bone for you. Wow! So there's that one person in definitely in California got really excited about that. <laughs> I, I, uh, want, I want to be clear. <laughs> I don't watch any. I just knew those names. I don't know, I just what know it is, all the references honest. in deep lore. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, VTuber. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm too old. I don't know. I'm, 32. I'm nearly thirty-two. I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, I'm too I don't old for this. Oh, I'm too old. Okay, so tough time. You know Twitch streamers, right? You know they, they've got their face Kinda. in the corner, and you know they're just right. streaming a game. Okay, so imagine okay. that, except the streamer is a but woman worse. with an anime girl avatar. <laughs> that's, that's it. I'm basically Donald Glover. I'm just going to say, I'm getting too old for this shit. Oh, that was too precious. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> what are we doing again? Um, the quiz, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, answer, <laughs> the answer I was looking for was... Six demon princes. Wow. He has fought. Yeah, he's Six. A Jeever, isn't he? Jeez. He's, he's done a lot. He's <laughs> really? a couple of Sanguinius only fought Cabanda, and he's like, no worries, mate. Sanguinius has fought, fought some. Actually, Sanguinius has fought a few of these demon princes. Wow. He's fought Cabanda, I know that. He's like, oh, big thick, because he like killed 500 Astartes and was like, get over it, and he got very cross. Didn't he cut so, the head off a of keeper of secrets? Oh, well, I'll, I'll bet I'll get to the, the names mm. of the. Uh, demon princes that Mephiston has fought is Doombreed, Mkar, <laughs> Malphalax, Kyris, Zadkael, and Kabanda. Oh, so, I put Zadkael before. I should have put that again, boys. Kyris the Perverse, if I remember the name correctly. Yes, that was the. Uh, it's the one that looks like a. I think it's a cow, right? Like, it's like a <laughs> yeah, it's I keep, I've, I've been playing cow. the Horus Heresy Legion's car game, and then he turns up and you're like, oh, nipples. Like, oh, no. <laughs> um, oh, no. <laughs> Why am I cow too sexy? Uh, that's not good. <laughs> we've already, we've already mentioned VTubers. That's not. Uh, <laughs> that's not <laughs> so, for question number nine, beneath Baal, in its mightiest prison, is an immortal Xenos that Mephiston has on occasion interrogated for answers surrounding chaos can you name me this xenos so to the top of the list andy you put octo calivari which does sound like a squid i'm not gonna lie like a it's like a japanese dish he's the character from futurama isn't he octo calivari it has been a while since i've finished it uh the spelling <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a reference. Yeah. Uh, Octocal. The spelling is off, but you are in fact correct. The Octo oh, is the name yeah. of the Enos. Uh, oh, it's, a, it's a. It's described like a disgusting, like six-limbed, chitinous thing. 
Because you say about like the squid thing, and I watched the video, and the way I remembered it was Octo Calamari. And then I was like, remember to change the C. So that's how I remembered it. I can't believe you managed to <laughs> somehow. <laughs> you were so unconfident, but you somehow managed to you swung that one. So Andy mm-hmm. gets a point there. Hey! Eli. Uh, <laughs> Dio Brando. Yeah! <laughs> and Man. Not- is not quite locked away. Nice He's not locked away in Baal uh, Secundus, unfortunately. Yeah. As hilarious as that would be. I have two and... of his quotes memorized. <laughs> I have a problem. Colin, mm-hmm. uh, I'm not sure if that's a demonetized word there. But <laughs> I don't think it, it is. Uh, I hear it. Just put cock. It's a hen that lays eggs. It, yeah. It's perfectly uh, fine. It's a, it's a male chicken. Yeah. It was, yeah, there's nothing nothing wrong with that it's at all. Rooster. It's actually <laughs> don't get it twisted. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone is listening and wondering what the hell is a octo calivari, uh it's a like it describes like as an immortal xenos, like six limbed chitinous thing, and it literally cannot die and they try to kill it. It's actually guarded by a previous chief librarian in a dreadnought uh of the chapter, and it's a funny part. I, I say it's not really funny, Don't but the the iron like the part is like, what's its crimes? It's like, oh, it's just like, is it a servant of chaos? It's actually like really an, weird. It's like an enslaver, <laughs> and it it does genocide, and it was like, you know, it's actually really awful. This thing, but <laughs> it's a uh, it's like a little bit of scum, shall we say? Doctor um, Calamari. It's perfect. It's probably a bit squiddy. Isn't, uh, isn't we're not the, sure. Isn't that the guy who says it's a trap? <laughs> Rest in peace, Admiral Akbar. They did you dirty in The Last Jedi. <laughs> they did Star yeah, they Wars did. dirty in The yeah, Last Jedi. Yeah, yeah. But especially Akbar. Even the actor was not happy about it. The actor I mean, underneath the mask. Yeah, the guy under the mask was like, I wasn't happy about how he ended. Everyone loves Akbar. It's like, we do. He's, he's a squid, squid general. We love him. Love, love Akbar. We love Akbar. <laughs> yeah, we do. I, I'll believe you. Uh, um, <laughs> number 10 was battling against the thousand suns upon the world of Sabasis. Mephiston split his soul into three parts. One piece peered inside the warp. Describe to me the appearance of Mephiston's soul within <laughs> the warp. This is naughty here. Um, <laughs> Andy, would you like to read? Uh, you can read out your answer, I think. Okay. Uh, I, I couldn't no. figure it out, so I just put Fisty's soul is a Hello Kitty oh. plushie. <laughs> oh, I, I hate that. I really <laughs> hate, that. I hate that. Imagine if it was drenched in blood or be fitting for uh-huh. Fiston. So, so it would be like how it is now, like in the real world. <laughs> oh, God. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, he does is, is not look like Hello Kitty. Uh, oh. <laughs> All the branding opportunities there. thrown but away. It, but obviously, wasted. unless the other answers are completely off, uh, it's actually still a contender. <laughs> Maybe it was the, one, that was the closest. That was the, uh, that was the uh, trick. So, Eli, you put white angel with the black goo swimming around in it. Um, mm. uh, Sounds like I, a dream I've had once. I'm glad it's not white. White goo. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> be a pretty boring it. dream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Depends on your angle. Um, <laughs> fortunately, that is quite not quite it. Uh, Colin put the One Piece is real. It's a Hello Kitty closer than actual answer is a rusty. He put in brackets. Actual answer is a rusty chalice likely drink out of now of course it's a chalice they love chalice like every iconography is like can i have a drink? Well, i did just say actually, what angels, actually. you have a drinking problem jeez it's actually funny enough not correct but so i'm gonna let i think we can all decide here so i'll read out the answer and i'll let us all choose so when mephiston splits his body he literally splits his mind body and soul and one of them chases the demon zadkill into the warp and his appearance when he like awakens is described as a mass of charred muscle coated in a crust of dark dried blood with raptor like claws glowing red eyes and wings so akira 
in a lot of ways. Yeah, kind of. It's like um, <laughs> it literally is a. He looks. He's like the sca- He's basically the scariest thing that was like around him. He meets some other like weird walk creatures, and they start having a conversation. That's one that supposedly looks quote unquote like a dog, but it's not like a dog. Obviously, it's like heads like upside down or something. It's like, it's, it's like all wrong. Um, but yeah, he looks like an actual proper demon of blood. Now, I wouldn't. I'm not sure who's the closest. To be honest, um, I think. Be Colin, sure to tell us in the comment what oh, you think. <laughs> I think Colin, you you changed your on your answers because you were quite close. You said like a charred black. I did. Thing. And I was thinking about that. I'm annoyed. I changed. <laughs> now, I won't give him that because ours are rubbish. I. <laughs> I think so. Does everyone agree that Colin should get that point? I think he should get that. Yeah, one, you know. yeah. Colin, Colin gets that point there for Ooh. Rusty Chalice. Oh, nice. <laughs> don't look Which that is... up. I don't think it's anything dirty, but don't find out. <laughs> just to be on the safe side, use Rule a VPN 34. just to be sure. If you do find out, let us know in the comments. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 stop. Let Eli know on his channel. <laughs> <laughs> Spam his personal email. No, don't. No, no, no. Uh, just kidding. Just kidding. So, for the last question, which was the bonus one, which is in the Blood Angel Civil War, name me the artifact of Sanguinius that was stabbed into Mephiston to help him control his power. So, Andy, you put the Spear of Telesto. Mm. That's a. Uh, it's pretty. Because uh, my pretty my good. thought process was it's literally one of Sanguinius's weapons. I was thinking with the whole Christ analogy, where he'd be stabbed with the spear, and that'd be iconic, and it'd be a parallel. And I'm like, oh, give that. A go, I remember I uh, reading the part where he says he he be stabbed with the spear. It was a very Emo- spoilers for the Bible, by the way. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think we're a few thousand years past that. that <laughs> Spo- the spoiler in the ending. Oh, 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 I Jesus. really liked that guy. Uh, no yeah, way. He no back. way he dies. Comes oh, back in the oh, okay. act, like a like a good uh, hero hero's journey. And Eli, you put the pea knife. <laughs> you didn't want poo knives. So. <laughs> this is going back to Bobby Smith episode. Okay. This, this, this is degenerate. Oh, and we have degenerate. And he put, but then after a knife, you put probably a sword. So you're not sure. I, I assume you mean something in between that answer there. Uh, oh. Colin, Colin, you put his feather. In brackets, power sword. I know, I know they still have. I you said name a weapon, and I knew I was wrong, but I know they have one of his feathers still like kept somewhere. I figured maybe you are, they stabbed him with it to help him. You are an emotional I, support feather. I don't know. It's Warhammer. <laughs> Nothing makes sense. Do you know what's funny? You said emotional support feather. That is entirely what they use. The yeah, Gabriel exactly. Gabriel Seth, shout out to Eli, said earlier in the devastation of Baal uses the feather as an emotional support to stop yeah. themselves falling to the black rage so he's you're not wrong he's like <laughs> just rubbing his face in it you're like seth what are you oh doing the actual answer i was looking for was the spear of telesto oh, so really? Andy, it was the spear of telesto oh, lovely it's happened yeah. in the blood angel civil war where one of their uh, brothers gets I guess there's some machinations with a demon prince and he starts to resemble Sanguinius. He even has his spear and Mephiston is there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they battle the the brothers, the two um the transformed blood angel actually has to battle his blood brother, his like real life brother. It's kind of a sad moment and he actually like ends up killing like the, the, the false Sanguinius, shall we say, in the Civil War. And uh yeah, so they use the actual spear of Sanguinius, the spear of Telesto. I'm not sure if that has a reference to is that um Toledo from you know medieval Spain? I'm not sure. Maybe. Might be, but um that is essentially a point yeah, so point for Andy oh, there. Chuff with that. Did uh did pretty good there. Uh how did everyone how did everyone think they done so far? I think uh we might have a clear winner, but I yeah, still had a bit of a rally, a bit of a rally towards the end, there, shall we say? There were no questions about Solandri Veilwalker dragging Mephiston by his psychic ear, and I'm angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make it uh, quite tough in later on, but again, like some of the, the beginning ones are obviously just his equipment and just general uh, stuff like that. I feel, again, like, the... I feel like 
Colin mm-hmm. would like to see like a, a chess game between Eldrad, Ulfrain, and Mephiston playing chess with like psychic powers, mm-hmm. and then just that like having cool. a bicker. That's well, that's, all... that's that's my mandatory Eldar uh, simp moment, by the way. Uh, so yeah, I, we we have we should point out if we don't do it every episode, Colin gets a bit angry afterwards. Um, it's 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 you know we have she to do it just us for his own safety emotionally. <laughs> I have all of their addresses. He needs his emotional support, Eldar, or he gets in trouble. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Funny enough, Mephiston does actually, in the final book, City of Light, does actually come across some Harlequins. So there is a little bit of a Eldari reference mm-hmm. in there. There's, there's, a, there's a strange bit where, like, I think he cuts off the leg of one of them and is like, now you serve me and you'll take us through the Great Rift. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, oh, he gets his cute harlequin. Girl. It's like, no, cuts one of their legs off and is like, come here. Well, it tried running away from him. <laughs> it's like, ah, enjoy running with only one leg. That's the closest Boom. a space marine gets to flirting. Mm. He pretty much, uh, yeah, he was... So, I mean, that's cool. also... Okay, I saw Khan flirted with um, Shadow Sun, and he was like, "Ah, if you want a filthy Xenos, you'd be pretty cool." You're like, "Whoa, yo, <laughs> chill, my dude." It reminds me, I of think I... and Felix. Oh, oh, it made me you know, sad now about mm-hmm. how the, the tomb, there are no more adventures. The tomb queen that <laughs> thirsted after Felix. Oh, <laughs> unrelated. Sorry. No, no. As a, I think someone said earlier, they joked about could Mephiston stop time. I was gonna. Uh, <laughs> Flesh that out. He actually does. I was saying he's in a Thunderhawk at one point, and they get attacked, and essentially he pauses time, and he sees like the uh, pilot, and his head is just mush. Uh, but he even and he literally is pausing. He puts like his like a uh, hands on his chin. And he's like pondering for a moment. And he wonders if he should, because he, he says he says I know I could put him back together and rewind time. But I shouldn't. <laughs> so he's an absolute like he's a he's probably the strongest uh, librarian. Although, why, in there are Star. people who say like he's Primark level almost, or he's like one of the strongest Space Marines ever. Why does Why doesn't he? What's the reason he gives for not doing? He's that? a broody, moody vampire. Yeah, man. He should. He's also as a librarian, he's quite uh, obviously a lot of study. He's very intelligent, and even as Mephiston and Callisterius, he was quite intelligent. I think he's studied enough. And also, Blood Angels are very is it, men, really men of culture, but doesn't have the same context. <laughs> they're quite cultured, so they're kind of aware of the fact that something shouldn't be messed with, especially things like the warp and uh, time as well. So you know, it, just, it was like a matter just, of, I could do this, but then demons might be a thing. Yeah, and also, there's some things where you shouldn't, you know, because, yeah, he shouldn't mess with it, even if he can. You know, like, a, you know, great power comes great responsibility, all that. All that blah blah blah. Like well, so if, if, if you guys great. were piloting a Thunderhawk gunship and either of your heads were a pile of mush, I'd reverse time for you oh, because you. we'd that's fight the demons together. Oh, that's that's super sweaty and specific. <laughs> that's really Very specific. specific. I, like, I like to imagine that Thunderhawk pilot just like screwed his wife or something, and it was just revenge. <laughs> <laughs> He's married. He's married to the game, unfortunately. <laughs> married. <laughs> married to the game. So the scores, the final scores are in. We do have in first place with that's eight points is Andy. Oh. So big up, Andy. That's a second win um, in oh, a row. I wasn't expecting it. I thought I'd get whooped. <laughs> Not too bad. It was out of eighteen, I think. But it was, this was yeah. quite a tough one. That was like a C minus. To be fair, I think it's a very specific. It wasn't the first one, no points, but I think it's the first one no one got double digits in anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, bit, a bit tough, this one, unfortunately. Unless you've read his books, you know, a lot of his... There's not a lot of his lore outside of them. He's very much his own kind of thing. Basically, he has, he has like his own ventures, kind of like... Don't like knows like Ariman as well, sort of a similar situation. Hopefully they fight one day, that'd be really cool. And in second place... Sorry, correction, joint... Second place wow. is Eli Yay! and Colin. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> so we have we split the silver medal in half. <laughs> so we <laughs> have we have only one winner and we have no losers, <laughs> wow. other than yeah. I guess everyone because you were victim to my <laughs> quiz. The audience uh, for listening to Colin talk about VTubers. 
<laughs> oh my god. That was, Jeez, that was probably a lot of, lot, lot of, if there are some law crimes uh, committed in this episode, please let us know. Uh, there's probably probably a few. Maybe it's it maybe there might be some like extra demon princes that he might have fought that I missed. It's hard to find them all. Or he just might have been like, you know, in the, the <laughs> other end of the park, just waving at one. Matthew the tax evader or whatever he's called, yeah. The worst of all demon princes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> doesn't pay his dues uh thank you all so much uh for watching that was i think everyone did pretty pretty good though i was pretty uh a pretty impressed shall we say at least zero so i'm impressed with yes i think uh yeah so blood angels obviously i don't i'm I'm falling slightly in love with the blood angels recently they're pretty uh in like i they're a bit obviously uh, obvious, if you know what I mean. With that, you say uh, they're uh, pretty I, bloody good. <laughs> I, uh, I don't care for them except for the Black Rage. I don't know why. I just love the concept of the Black Rage. It's pretty. Uh, it, it gives them a bit of a dynamic where a lot of the you, chapters. You just like the uh, the, the church scene from Kingsman where Colin Firth <laughs> massacres all the people, and you're like, I just like that scene <laughs> over and over again on repeat. That's so accurate. It's. Oh my god. <laughs> Except everyone he kills is also named Horus. <laughs> Speaking of uh, good old Horus, the next episode of uh, the pub quiz will be, in fact, on the Wolfman, the Looper Cal. Um, I don't know what other his like, nicknames are, like War Big Master. Big H, a bit War Master, Big H, H Dog, Daddy. Um, Daddy, it was Daddy. <laughs> um, they'll be on Horus Lupercal. Uh, hope everyone checks that one out. Where he's a uh, obviously there was one point he was good, and then one point he was not so good. <laughs> so got a little bit of a spectrum. Uh, we used shall to we be say? good, but now we're bad. Horus Lupercal. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty much. Yeah, that's you don't have to watch or read any of the books now. You've got it straight here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all here. Thank you all so much for uh, watching. Put your scores down in the comments if you uh, want to. You know, let us know how you did. We obviously, if it's if it's if it was too hard, I want to. <laughs> people can shout at me. That's fine. Or if you if you nailed it all, uh, we bow down to you. You are better than us in every way. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.